530. Critters, insects, and stink bugs galore. You may be seeing more of them. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. While stink bugs are not native to the United States, they thrive in the fall season. News 10's Deanna Giles tells us how you can get ahead of the problem. Whether you're leaving home or coming inside, all it takes is a single stink bug to tag along. This year we definitely notice a considerable amount of damage from stink bugs. It's an issue Brian Phillips has seen this fall. As a homeowner and co-president of Phillips Apple Orchard and Cider Mill, he's seen an increase of stink bugs since September. That's when experts recommended he take precautionary measures. They might use what we call uh, pheromone monitoring traps. They're a kind of trap that's black, it stands on the ground. It has an attractant to bring in stink bugs to know if they are present and how many are present. Fall pests are certainly nothing new to farmers. In fact, Brian Phillips says they're actually more of a nuisance. That's why apples that look like this with the dark spots are generally left behind, but they're not going to waste. We make cider out of them so you don't have to look at them because they're pretty ugly if you actually look at them. On the flip side, stink bugs won't feed on your food or damage property, but Phillips says it's best to stay aware. Pests don't usually just disappear entirely, even even if they've become a, a lower threshold of a problem, that doesn't mean they're not going to bounce back at some point and become a bigger issue again. Experts say not to worry because now they're just looking for a warm place to spend the winter time and won't increase in numbers. In St. John's, Deanna Giles, News 10. Homes and buildings are not exempt from fall pests like stink bugs, although the tools to handle the problem are a bit different, like using a shop vac or placing them in soapy water. Well, hold on. 